Nam Kano ordered my execution despite being in detention. Barry claims having visited the DSS boss in custody. <laughs> how do you know that it was Nam Kano that sent them? And how sure are you that Nam Kano ordered your execution? Don't forget, Mr. President, that you are a figurehead and all eyes are on you. All right, my dear listeners, I greet you this very evening. It's a pleasure reaching out to you once again on this very broadcast. This is the Lord TV. You know, sometimes I used to wonder and ask myself questions of this such that Mr. President um, is not being reasonable sometimes. Um, despite the tight security in DSS custody and the kind of people that the DSS itself considers to pay visit to Namde Kano, how possible can it be that Namde Kano will now, now order his execution? Planning his execution, I don't think um, Namde Kano um, will be after that, or we even want to do anything of such. I think President Mulberry is um, is just um, cooking up stories that can help him achieve his, uh, his support. Because as it is now, nobody is throwing any support or a single support to him. You understand? All support is being directed to the IPOP leader, both local and international understand let's quickly check the content my dear listeners this is evening news the last visit by president mulberry to the dss custody has proved that president mulberry is not ready to reconcile the president who said that he is willing for negotiation has reported his last attack Murray said that Namde Kano is in detention, yet is plotting his execution. Is a very funny one. Murray said that Namde Kano, who is in detention, can be so moving to the extent of plotting his execution. Speaking on the last attack, President Murray said that if not for his bulletproof convoy that the IPOP members that attacked him along the Abuja Expressway would have succeeded in getting him killed. I know what the people will be considering it to be, but that is just a fact. No other people will be after my life if not for those who I am after. I've been after the indigenous people of Biafra through proscription and detention of their member. It will amaze you that Namde Kano has taken the move to get me executed before his release, Barry Clem. Namde Kano cannot execute you. And I don't think that you will have that very room to plot your execution. Considering the, just like I said, considering the, the limitation and the condition, you know, placed um, before him, I don't think there is any room for him to, um, to achieve that. Yes, no room for that. You understand? There, there, I don't think there will be any room for that. And I don't think anyone will be willing to give him that chance. So, um, the, the, as a president, you are a figurehead. And everyone definitely will have an eye on you. Don't forget that it is not only the IPOP that are your enemies. You have other enemies everywhere. And definitely, they will definitely want to come after you. Don't forget that you are having an issue with the Fulanis, the same people you negotiated to gain 
power to gain entrance to become president. You are also having issues with those countries you collected loans from. And as a figurehead, all eyes will definitely be on you. You understand? So you cannot just be focusing on the IPOP and you know believing that they are the ones that are coming after you. It is wrong. You understand? It is better that you do your findings, carry out your investigations, and be sure of what you are cooking up. You understand? And that will help in a long way. All right, my people, you've heard this already, and you've seen what Mr. President is actually claiming. Um, well, it's one of those things. Uh, don't forget your comments are still very much of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.